Welcome, welcome to Dota School with Chazzy and Matt. Uh, Chazzy's recently joined the PC Elite Master Race, yes. so immediately I pounced upon him and was like, I need a friend to play Dota because no other bastard does it with me. I was going to say, the PC crowd do not hang about when they want to get you involved in a game, <laughs> do they? We're desperate, we're desperate, we're elite, but it's a lonely, it's a lonely <laughs> island. Right. <laughs> So, um, yeah, we're going to be doing a little video series of um, teaching the basics of Dota. Now, I have one of the lowest MMRs on the planet, so this is uh, going right, to be... Right. Whoa, like... whoa, 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 sweet cheeks. What the hell is MMR? I mean, um, I know I know nothing about like these kind of MOBAs, right? and you're going to be talking the... jargon. So, like, start equivalent... with the basics. I've, I've never owned an Xbox, but it's the equivalent of your Xbox player score or whatever. The... Well, your gamer to score. Gamer score, yeah. So Dota has its own internal gamer score, yeah? So yeah, if you play right. ranked matches, you win a match, you'll gain between 25 and 30 MMR. I think it's match making rank, something like that. Points. Right, okay. But it's points, basically. Oh, okay, so um, it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of your gamer score, but also it's what is used to match you against other people, is that right? Correct. So, right, okay. So you'll you'll often hear people, and if you go and research what, while we're doing this series, you'll people like I'm on the road to 2K, I'm on the road to 3K, right. trying trying to get their MMR to 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, so on. Okay, my MMR currently sits around the 500 mark. Right, um, <laughs> it started off as 2,000, and I've steadily. So this is basically the blind leading the blind. <clears throat> Correct. Right. Yeah. Okay. Think dark calls for Dota, basically. Right. Okay. <laughs> Um, so yeah, yeah well, I'm, and I mostly play support, which is one of the reasons why my MMR is so low. Because you you need right. to be um, like a, a frontline character that's getting all the kills and all right. that to raise. So to slow, raise slow down, up. right? I'm I'm assuming you've got what what I'm assuming you've got like multiple different like uh, was it sort of stables of characters? Like you've just mentioned support. What other types of yeah, I'm assuming there's a heavy damage characters and yeah. So oh, we'll get into this. There's so many layers, but right. um, but there are... let's go top level like basics. The, your three basic roles are carry, support, and mid. Right. Okay. Which are so you've got the three lanes: top, middle, bottom. Right. Okay. Your mid lane is always a solo lane. Right, so okay, so you do that on your own, obviously. Yeah, yeah. I... and if you're a mid character, you go mid, basically. Right, okay. Um, and then you're in a team of five. Right. So the other two lanes, top and bottom, obviously have two people each. Right. And if you play to the uh, old school kind of thematic Dota, you... your, your classic four four two formation. If you're in football, you know <laughs> your classic much, formation yeah. in Dota is <clears throat> two two one. Right. Okay. Or two one two, whatever you want to call it. Right. Um, and in each lane, you will have a support and a carry. Okay. And your support character buys like healing stuff and basically gives items, um, and buys wards, right. which are vision giving things, because you have uh, the smoke of battle or whatever you want to. Fog of war. Fog of war. Right. Okay. Smoke so this is Where this is I obviously. <laughs> <laughs> so this is obviously a bit like you, you. This is top down isometric. You got a fog of war. It's like like your old strategy games of old, but correct. Know. Well, remember this is based on a, a Warcraft three mod. Right, so okay. if you go way way back when to Warcraft three, this is Warcraft three HD basically. Okay. Um, so yeah, in in each lane you'll have a support and a carry, and your carry is generally tends to be someone who isn't that strong early in the game but you let them get all the experience and all the gold right so now again from the very little that i've picked up from hearing people talking about dota what i can work out is is that you level up as you play the game and so every time you play a match you're just leveling within that match right correct yeah yeah you, you start so, at level one Yep. and progress through and what, then the next is there game an, is there a level cap in that level in the uh, game 25 is the level cap per match per match right okay so i'm assuming then with a carry you're starting at 1 and that experience gain is takes a long time to happen but then it really quickens as you get nearer and nearer 25 uh it 
it depends because they, they like to tweak these things in the Dota world. Right. Um, last patch that they had, uh, patch previous to this one, they they introduced the you know like when you play a racing game, you got the rubber band mechanic. Yes. They introduced something similar to that, where if you right. were really far behind and you killed someone, you would get a bundle load of experience and gold okay. to, to catch you up to, to how far they were ahead. Right. That's still in place, but they reduced it most recently with the, the most recent patch. Okay. Um, so you can... This is an interesting game where you can be absolutely at your last ebb of health. Everything's dead around you. All of your teammates are dying, and you can stage a massive comeback. Right, okay. And you might have one hero in your team who's a really late game carry who so, suddenly comes right. online and all of his powers suddenly come to fruition and he, he Okay, leaves. so this is your seat. So if you're a carry, you're a secret weapon. Uh, to not a a sec it's not a secret weapon. Let me explain a little bit more. So your job as a support in lane right. is you get these creep waves. Right, I'll tell you what, hold on. Right, let's 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 make this easy and make it look a little bit nicer. Do you want to jump jump into a into a map yeah, let's and jump then into we the can old match. right and then we can sort of you can show me round, show me the lay of the land as it were. But yeah, so yeah, it's all very at the moment. It's all a little bit overwhelming. Right now, it's asking me to pick a character. And I'm assuming there's a, a big roster of characters, so there are huge. Starting, Go for Viper. Starting off, what is a good Go character? Go for Viper. He's only got one power you need to worry about out of the four. Okay, and I'm assuming I'm clicking on lock in. Correct. Yep. Right. Okay. Right. You got Vipes. I'm gonna go oh, Crystal he's going, Maiden. He's even got little pet names for him. <laughs> <clears throat> I think as soon right. as we're both locked in. So what in, is Viper then in your support uh, carry Viper mid? is a nice easy carry. Okay. Um, the best thing about him is most of his powers are passive. So you don't need to hit buttons, worry about keys. Okay, you so just, as in passive is it literally just sits in the background and it does... Just takes care of itself. One, right, of, okay. one of his powers is the... Um, so I'm assuming you've got like more active powers that are on your like in Warcraft where you've got your 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 bar at the bottom. Correct. They're yeah. they're, they're your more active powers, yeah. And then passive is literally just like you get 100% more health. Uh, yeah, whatever. well, the, I think with uh, Viper, one of his powers is he's got poison skin. So anyone who attacks him, right, okay, gets a certain amount of damage reflected okay. back on him. Right. Okay. Uh, so you should see down in the bottom left. Above your character screen, you got this little level up bar. Prepare for battle. Uh, I'm not in yet. Uh, okay, okay. Oh, enter battle as well. There you go. Sorry, yeah. do apologise. No right, worries. okay. So I'm right clicking. I'm assuming. Right. I know you've told me this. Is that I right click to move? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. There you go. You're flying around. I'm moving about. Right on your little character HUD. Right. Okay. Down the bottom. See your little here. picture. Yep. Yeah. You've got level up. So click that. Hit that, and then you should see your four powers all light up, and you can choose. Okay. So I've all got poison attack, uh, nether toxin, and corrosive skin. Uh, corrosive skin's okay. probably the one you want to go for first, because right. that's. I think if you read that back to me, I think it's the one where any uh, damage. Viper got. exudes an infectious toxin that damages and slowly damages and slows an enemy. Any enemy. Oh bloody hell! I can't read. Start again, hey. Viper. Exudes an infectious toxin that damages and slows any enemy that damages it in a That's 1400 right. radius. The right. acid. You're, ba you're basically putting damage back on people that attack you. Okay, right, okay. No worries. Right, so what do I, how do I use that then? I mean, it you says E. To. Right, okay. So if you read underneath the top bit of the power, it says uh, passive. Right, so to, to take that on as a, as a thing, I just I click fly. on it, yeah? Yep. Right. And you should see a single golden point go into it. Yes. And that's it. That's all you need to worry about. That's, right. uh, it's a passive power. Okay, so that's me, that's me set for the first wave. Yeah. Right, now okay, let's so. Catch up to the first wave. Let's both go top lane okay. where the purple so, cursor is. All right, okay, so, so looking around, I've got top, middle, and bottom lane on yeah, that map. I'll, I'll on give the you map a down, down here. here. Right, okay, so that blue thing, that's you, is it? No, the, I'm I'm moving up. The blue thing is me. The blue that ping. Blue. Oh, and the blue ping is 
is an area that we've got to get to because it's, it's so just still going off. <laughs> this is how you notify people where you want them to do something. You hold down the alt button and left click, and it pings. Right. Okay. Right. So I'm going for a lovely little wonder. Right now, you've just um, left base. I'm assuming without yeah. buying any items, because right. we should have gone over that before you left base. But not to oh, worry. I don't know. Here we go. Right, yeah. <laughs> right. So before we do that, I'm just gonna F9 the game. There we go. Game is paused. Right. If you right click uh, or left click, sorry, down in the right bottom shop, hand corner, yeah. shop. Okay. Left uh, click. Left. If you left click that, you should. I see. can't left click it. It's all right. paused. It pauses it. Okay. Fine. We'll just hang around the tower. It's As we fine. said, blind leading the blind. <laughs> Hit the so, shop button. Yeah, got and that. You should see like a a little shop come up. All the items available, yep, and then it's, it then it tells you what your starting items should be. And this is recommended. Right. Items okay. So this has got tango, healing salve, slippers of agility, and circlet. Yep. Just right click all of them. Oh, I can take all of them, can I? Yep. Okay. Do they cost me anything? They do. You've got a gold counter next to the shop button. Right, so I've clicked. I'm, I'm you clicking right, on. I right, oh, right click. Right okay. Click to buy. Right. Okay. Gotcha. I was left clicking. Okay. Right click to buy. Cool. No worries. Got those. Uh, and, and then that's just done a load of money. That's just done a load of money. Right. Yeah. Can you see um, a little donkey head just below the shop button, slightly uh, to the left? Yes, I can. Okay. Uh, left click on that. Yep. So what we have in Dota is a courier, right. and you should see a little donkey if you look at the bottom of the map, just coming out the base. Yes. Little donkey courier. He's coming up to bring oh, those see, items yeah. to you. I see him there. Yeah. Okay. Oh right. Okay. So you, okay. So you can get people to bring things to you. You don't have to keep ferrying yourself backwards and forwards to the base. Correct. Yeah. All right. So um, you can you can still keep damaging game, something and. Which I'm about right, to okay. do now. Oh no, you can't do it into. Right. My donkey's here. Is he come? Yeah. He's got gotcha. you. So I'm right. right clicking and I'm moving the donkey. Uh, okay, no, no, no. Uh, click on you. Yeah. And then click the donkey head on your HUD. With a right click, yeah? No, just a left. Left. Oh, right, okay. Me. There donkey you go. head. And now you should see in your inventory slots yeah. all of your items. And now he's going back to base. Oh, no, I've sent him back. Oh, no. That's fine. I've, no, that's I've, fine. I've that's not good. done this right. No, I don't think I've picked anything up. Oh, right, okay. <laughs> <laughs> just literally click. Right, I'm, I'm going to try and steal it from you. Oh, no. It's all going wrong. It's all going wrong, mate. I mean, this is this is like basic, basic stuff. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Also, yes. right, okay. Here he comes. Look, he's coming back. I've worked that out. Oh, I can click on the map and move around. All right, okay. That's cool. So, donkey is with me, right? He should just come up to you automatically, drop your items off, and fuck off. Um, Language. Pardon me. Uh, Shift click me. shop. I, uh, uh, so I'm left clicking the donkey, and then it's giving me Q W E R T D E F. Oh, no, no, no. The donkey icon, mate. Down in the far bottom right of your screen, you've got a big gold shield. Yes. And up slightly to the left of that is a big donkey face. Yeah, I've clicked on that. And it's not doing anything. It just says default courier owned by a Harriet bot. Ah, courier, courier deliver items. Is that the one I'm looking for? Yeah, do that. So I click on that. Have you got any items in your inventory slots? Uh, no. To the left of the donkey face, you've got six black yeah, slots. Yeah, it's completely empty. You did buy the stuff. I saw you buy it. Yeah. But there's nothing on the donkey. Uh. No. Regeneration. <laughs> See, it's right. all gone wrong. Are you sure? Are you too? Do you know what I'm talking? Oh, I've got something here that says. Ah, oh, there we go. He's giving it to me now. I've got it now. Look, they've just popped in. Don't know what happened, but they've just. <laughs> he, literally... he needed to go back to base to pick him up for you. Right. Okay. That's fine. So the donkey's back on his way. I've got my gear. I've got my four. I'm items. going to upgrade the courier, which is. You should see something pop up in the yeah, bottom right of the that. screen. Yeah. Yeah. So that's to give him flying wings, and that's a support job. Right. To you say right. Okay. Get that speedy, so it's more speedy delivery for all you other guys that need items, right? Okay. So can I close the shop window now? Yeah. Right. Okay. 
and that's again one of the biggest things that if you have a look in that shop window actually for your next item right I've got stuck my inventory and thing they've all disappeared and I've now got bracer and boots of speed in there brilliant okie dokie that's fine yeah because um, items combine to, to build things right so you'll see some early game items that you, you buy and then once oh, they okay, all sorry. get delivered no. at once sorry I'm Bear with me. No, you're all right. I literally know nothing and I'm rubbish. Right, I've just clicked on myself. That's changed the inventory thing. I was clicked on someone else and they had... Right, I'm clicking on you and it's showing your items. Yeah. Right, okay. So you, I can... <laughs> right, I can see other people's items. That's what's confusing me. Correct, yeah. I'm an idiot. other people in the team, just remember your portrait of your hero. Yep. If that's anyone else, you're clicked oh. on someone else. Okay, yeah. See, um... This is going to be a very long video series. <laughs> right, so, I'm with you. Right, okie dokie. So, what we're going to do is... Oh, right, where we are now, this yep. is a, a tier 2 tower. Okay. Uh, and you will see... If what you the look, hell does that mean? If you look down the mini-map, yep. we've got a big green block where we're standing, and that is the tower. Yes. Below that is another tower. Yes. That's tier 1. Yes. Oh, so, okay, oh, so sorry, no. The one we're at is tier, tier one. one. The one second one is, is tier, tier two. two. Then you've got tier three. Which is the one, but it's got like two mini towers next to it. Right, those are not mini towers. Those are called barracks. Right, so that's... And okay. the, the creeps that are coming up, you must have seen them running yeah, past. Yeah, yeah, I've seen them. They're like guys. little minion yeah. guys, yeah. Yeah. Those spawn those every 30 or something seconds. Right, okay. If those get destroyed... Yes. Do you get but, no more minions, yeah? No, we still get minions, but... The, or creeps. You've got to use the right term. Okay, right, you? creeps. creeps. Oh, okay. <laughs> Blimey, <laughs> right, I'm getting into it now. Okay. But the other team, if they destroy our barracks, they get super creeps. That's, that's a Rick James song. <laughs> and if they destroy all three sets that I'm pinging here... Uh, hold on. You're pinging... I one, oh, two, yeah. three... Because we've got top, middle, bottom, right? right if yeah. they destroy all sets of those racks or barracks, they're called racks, you'll hear, you'll hear right, them referred to in game, right, okay. they get mega creeps. Which right, then, okay. then you basically have so to. So there's leave three, level of cre three levels of creep. Yeah, indeed, yeah. And right, creeps okay. do get stronger as you go through the game, otherwise, it would be as yeah. you level up, they level up, sort of thing. Right, gotcha. So let's, let's move up a little bit. We've got a PA, which is Phantom Assassin. Whoa, 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 whoa. Right. She's, she's so, a level 7. If you hover over this little purple right, woman that's running around up here. Hold on, I'm not following you at all. No, you're right. It's fine. Where, where are you? There you are. Right. There okay. we go. See this I little see purple you. lady? Yes. She's level 7. I'm level 2. Right, right. okay. <laughs> so this is, um, this is... I know this is a bot match, but theoretically that's another... Oh, uh, one of our teammates, yeah? This is one of our allies, and she's, she's a carry. Okay. She's usually a mid character, okay. actually, but... Um, so I'm just going to flop out one of my powers. Whoa, whoa. Flop out. <laughs> oh, see, she just did that. I'm going to try and get a kill. Bear, bear with me. What the hell does flop out mean? <laughs> Throw out one of my powers. Right, okay. Oh, and he just threw out one of his. Did you see that stun come down? Yes, and that's that. Put that big line of rocks yeah. in the way, yeah? And he can use that to block like pathways so he can trap you he, on the wrong so that, side. So that's, that's to force you around the long way round or trap you into a thing or... Yeah, like if he comes along, uh, he's uh, Earthshaker, I think is his uh, name. <clears throat> yeah, he's a bugger and you'll only learn this, don't, don't get too intimidated by it. You need to play against all 150 people before you know what those 150 people are capable of. Right, okay. I'm about to die. Yeah, yep, so. don't worry about it. Right, okay. That was uh, Lena's ultimate. Right, so if I die... So you're back at base. You should I will be spawning be... again in two seconds. Right, okay. So that's, me. that's the base, I'm assuming. All right, click the shop. That's the base. Right, click shop. Yeah. And there's about six items down. Exactly, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven items down. Town portal scroll. Yes. Seven, 75 gold. Right yep. click that. Okay. And then it should be in your inventory. Yes, it is. Left click it. Got it. And then left click where I'm at. 
up at the top. Right, okay, and then and that... you are teleporting. Right, that's how I've got to teleport. Teleport, right, okay. Where the hell? Oh, no, no, right, okay. All oh, right, okay. So that's that's a quick way so of getting a, you back a, into the fight, is it? A town portal scroll can take you to any tower that you that still have standing. Okay. Right, that makes sense. And a that. lot, of, and oh, yeah. one of the big things about like when you get into ranked match, always have one. Yeah. Because it With might me. take uh, people five seconds to kill you. Yeah. It, it only yes. takes two seconds to portal back. So right. if you get stuck and people... Does that work both ways? If you're in the fight and about to die, can you portal back to the base? That, that was what I was saying. Right, yeah, okay, so, yeah, right. So, okay, so you can do it one way or the other. <clears throat> so if you, get, you if you get ganked, which uh, is which a, surprise, a surprise attack okay. from people. Cause, so I'm going to try and draw some stuff on the map. Indeed. Right. See that blue line that I've just drawn on the uh, mini-map? Yes, I do. Okay, so what, what you... I sound so surprised at that. <laughs> I noticed something. <laughs> right, so you join your blue line, yeah. See that? Where are you? I'm right next to you. Oh, right, okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, cool. So. Now what? Your bottom tower is I under attack. Up here. Right, we've got all the bots for some reason. They've all clustered around us. I think they're waiting for a bot because okay. I've been drawing on the map. Tower. Right, okay. That's one of the good things about bot matches, right? If if you do something, they come yes. and turn. Come and hang which, around. Yeah, which often in a Your human match, you'll be, please come up top, I need some help. And right. it won't happen. Okay, so I am literally just wandering around like, a, like an fine. idiot. Like, I'm, right, I'm this hero. Okay. I've frozen him, that's one of my powers. He stunned us. Ah, oh, right, okay, so I'm spitting acid at him. That's my right, power, now it? he's gonna go down because everyone's coming on him. Surprise attack, there you go. Right, okay. So, Lich, am I holding down right? Right click or to attack, or am I click, 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 click? Okay, so no, if you right click on someone, you'll enter Your what's called auto attack mode. Attack. Right. And you will just hit them until you just, that's right it. click on another character or right click to move to another place. Right, okay. So I'm attacking this. I've got this tower that I'm attacking. I've just clicked on it once. That's it. Yep, you'll carry on attacking it until you die. Right. Or and then if I click away, that will cancel my attack and. Correct, yeah. Right, okay. Now there are buttons that we can. Um, Pre-map. I think we'll probably talk about that later. But one of the big things about when you're like some gold, you have spent some money. No, as in as in I hit someone and some gold came out. Oh Is yeah, that was that's you got a last hit on someone. Right. What does that mean? So part of the rush when when the whole point of this laning phase, right? Which we're way past now in the game. It's supposed to run to about seven minutes. But um, when you're laning, part of the whole fight is I will harass the other characters. Yes. Right. I'm a ranged character, so I can hit them with my ranged thingies, like I'm going to do on this guy. Yeah. And I'm going to freeze him. You just hit him. There you go. Right, yeah. You got a kill. Right, okay. Now retreat, retreat, retreat. <laughs> yeah, run away, let the minions... So, so oh, the yeah. idea of this oh, is... Both got killed. Right, so the idea of this is that you let the minions soak up the damage and you sort of attack Correct, yeah, so you go... And then you sort of, you attack. go forward, attack, you sort of stick and move like in boxing. Yeah, they call it a creep wave, right. and you, you kind of ride the wave like surfing, or you, you know, retreat when you've got a bad wave. Right, okay. Um, but the whole point of the laning phase is a very important mechanic, last hits. Right. Now, if you get the last hit on a creep, you get gold, which you just saw ching up. Yes. If you're very good in the laning phase at getting last hits, right, yeah. the enemy's top you'll be way ahead in gold and therefore way ahead in items that enhance your powers and you'll get stronger and stronger. So that, it's like a snowball. So you're quick at your leveling. So the gold is your experience within the level, uh, within uh, the map and the way you, you buy things. So you can quickly accelerate through the, um, your progression as a character. 
So there's two different things you get for a last hit. You get experience and gold. Right. Experience will level you faster, enabling right. you to get higher levels yes. in your powers. Okay. The gold enables you to buy more items. Oh, okay, right, okay. So there's tier. So once you hit a certain tier with your level, you can then buy the things within that tier. No, the, the power levels are not related to items at all. Right, okay. Items in the shop, if you've got gold, you can buy it. Right, Whatever okay. it does. Your power your levels is under attack. Um, obviously increase, and they increase in mana cost and increase in strength and all that kind of stuff. It depends on the hero and the power, right. but generally you get better, faster, stronger, quicker if you get more last hits. Right. And then the other thing you can do is deliver a, like a last hit to your own guys. So if you see one of your own creeps at low health, yeah. you can hit a key. And my keys are all screwed, my key bindings, but I believe it's Q or R yeah. for an auto attack. Because you can't, you can't right click oh, on your own dudes. Right. You, need to, you need to hit a specific key. to. Okay. It might even and why be... am I attacking my own dudes? Because you, that's called a deny. So if they're down to their ah, life, right. their health, so to deny their money, you can take, you correct. can literally like mercy they kill. They get fifty percent money and fifty percent experience for that creep. So you literally are mercy killing someone to it's, deny them money, to deny, deny them a way to yeah. pro progress. So if you get all the last hits and all the denies, you're like three times ahead of them in terms of experience and gold. Right. Okay, um, that makes sense. That's very tactical. And it's bloody tough to do. So right. the, one of the first things you probably want to do when you get out of this is look at your key bindings and turn off auto attack. Because as a default, auto attack is turned on. Yeah. So you will always auto attack creeps. And you get the... They call it pushing a lane. So if you're always auto attacking the creeps... Yep. You will push your lane forward and into their tower. Yes, you'll 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 slowly gain more ground over time. But doing I'm being, that cha I'm being chased here at the moment by a load of. Uh, okay, so you you I'm being chased. I drop back, let my minions get involved, and then just sort of auto attack from distance. That is your kind of early game. That would be your your tactic, would it? Correct. Yeah. Right, so you okay. draw them into your tower. Oh, okay, so your tower puts out damage, I'm assuming? Your tower is a very powerful point of damage. So uh, you want to sort of draw them into that, so that's damaging them as well as you and everyone. And, and it, the creeps, yeah. And like, within all that, you also want to be trying to hit them last to get gold. Correct. Blimey, that's a lot to, that's a lot to do <coughs> well, all in one... <laughs> Ideally, you don't want the creeps to be under your tower or under the enemy's tower because the tower adds a random element to like w when you're going to get the last hits. Yes. You want to be doing it skillfully and within sort of this area. So dropping back to a tower to, to have them it's take damage is, is a if defensive push, move. If they push fallen. out their lane too far and they're under your tower so they're strict okay. so if they, that's that would be them being overstretched would it correct because they can't be within experience range then to pick up experience right okay oh. i just totally misclicked then and froze a creep instead of him right, okay. oh he's just but you can me. see it now oh. yeah he stunned you right so run away i'm assuming run back right and Duke as well. Duke left and right, so... Right, now I'm going to freeze her. Right. There we go. And she's dead. Nice. Okay. <coughs> right, okay. So I've got my head around this. This kind of makes sense so far. So what we're going to do now, you probably want to push back. What Am I'm going to do, come with me over here. Just another little quick thing. I, as I'm... Uh, I've obviously taken a bit of damage. Yeah. But my health bar is climbing again. So am I always yeah, permanently regenerating? To the right of your health bar, you've got a plus number. Uh, plus 1.2. Right, that's a natural five, regen. And that's just gone up to 5.2. Uh, no, did you choose a power? Oh no, you might have had some negative impact. I see, it went up and then went back down, so I don't know why that's done that. Oh, you would have one of the other um, players on our team will have had an aura Right. Okay. So that's a, that's a, again that's a.
passive ability that I just get for being near them. Well, I, I can buy as a support. Yeah, see, look, Esterbot's come round and it's now come up to 5.2. Yeah. Right, okay, that makes sense. In your own inventory, though, you've got a healing salve. Just double click it. Uh, right or left? D uh, left. Right, and that just uses it. Right, okay. So that's how you get health back. Now, if you use that or um, what's called a potion of clarity, which restores magic mana, right. your middle tower you're fine. Just if you get hit, it interrupts the healing. Fallen. Okay. It stops it. So you loot, you basically waste the item. Right. So whenever you pop one of those, pull back, get under your tower, make sure no one's going to be hitting you. Yeah. Just play it passive until it's uh, done its thing. You can see by the tower there, someone's just TP'd in. Well, well, it's TP. Teleport. Right, okay. That makes sense. T for teleport, P for port. <laughs> Got it. And now I, thought you meant to, I did honestly think you meant toilet paper. Toilet paper. I'm not say. <laughs> so this little nuke, my nuke, is my power that does a quite a bit of damage and it slows right. their attack damage. So that's the kind of thing like you'd see in a, in a, in a, in a, in a Streets of Rage or something that would yep. be your and kind here's of... here's my ulti. Right, okay. So that's your Streets of Rage big. Right, okay. <laughs> yeah. So that's Crystal Maiden's ultimate. Blimey, that's a bit spectacular. Where have I yeah. gone? <laughs> you died unfortunately, I wasn't in time to save you, I apologise. Oh, so you, so you can team kill using your... Like, no, you didn't I, have... I didn't kill you, you got killed by the... Shadow. Oh right, well, I was just too busy to not paying attention. Up here. Right, okay, I so. I don't know if you're watching that, but. Yeah, I saw that, yeah. Um, right, so now I'm waiting. So I've got a red bar, and I'm now and waiting. You're back up now. Next, and then I'm back in. I've got 27 seconds. Right, now, okay. the, high, the higher your level, the longer your cooldown to come back after dying. Right. The and if you can do me a little favour while you're here, fine. just press the T button and hold the T key down. Yeah. Yeah, and you should see a little list come up of all of our players and all the other team's players. Uh, T is doing nothing. Uh, maybe that's the key I've got set. Thrust ahead. Tab? No. no t oh, all right, bear with that. Don't worry about it. We'll work that out in a bit if you want. Yeah, no, that's fine. Okay. So. Forward. So I've got, I've sort of got my head around this. I kind of understand this. So this is the laning phase. Yeah. I mean, or this we'll is what. Yeah. I mean, I know that in ga in this actual game we're way past the laning phase, but this is what you would be doing in that laning phase. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it can last. It can sometimes go up sort of 10, 15 minutes right. so for for beginners. So what does it, what does that do, and what does that set up? Well, you'll you'll see uh, mid now where I'm pinging. You've got four people chasing one poor bloke. See those crosses on the map? That's enemies. Yes. And he, that, So what we would ideally do right now is um, teleport to mid to defend it. Right, okay. <clears throat> so if I do that now, just for argument's sake... Have you, have you got a TP scroll? or? Uh, I will have in a sec. I'll put it, it's in my stash. Right, then you hit the courier left hand button. Which... Ah, right, okay, courier, and then deliver. There you go. You don't need to... Just hit, hit courier. Just to hit left click that donkey face down in the bottom right and he'll come yep. straight to you. There are various hot buttons, I'll let you explore those on your own, like you can make him do a turbo boost for a very short period of time, so he gets you quicker in... Okay, so you know. when you do the courier... Um, that freezes you. You can't move. You can't do anything. Uh, no, it's because you've clicked on the courier as like you're controlling him directly. Right. Okay. If you just left click his face, yeah, That's it shouldn't right. interrupt anything. Okay, he's here now. You can run around, and wherever you run around on the map, he'll follow you. Right. Hold on. And this is one of the mistakes that new players make as well: is that um, they'll get him to follow him right into enemy territory and then he dies and it takes like I'm, a I'm a li I'll be honest I'm not gonna lie a little bit confused by the whole courier thing and how it works and I'm sure I'll get my head around it because I'm just clicking on things and he's going away and coming and going away and coming so I'm 
I will, I will uh, don't, right, worry, don't worry for now, but we'll, I'll, I will get my head around that offline. I think. He's going back to base to get your items, and he should right. just fly straight back out. Okay, to your so lobby. it's now saying 64, 63, 62. Yeah, so that's how many seconds it's going to take him to reach you. Right, okay. If you. Can, I can sort of meet him halfway, can I? That's it, yeah. Right, okay. Gotcha. Forward. I, this must be infuriating for you, I do apologise. No, 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 you're fine. And I'm anyone not... watching? <laughs> That's it, we won't put this one out. Okay, right, we'll, I've we'll got... This is a secret stock for ourselves. Okay, so I've got a town portal scroll. Okie dokie. Uh, and then I'm going to click where... This is one of the beautiful things, right? The battle's already gone on, we already chased the... You didn't see that going on no, on I'm, the I'm gonna, I'm gonna but... tran Yeah, no, I'm going to trans <laughs> trans transfer to mid anyway. There we are. Right. There's me. There's, there's you. Right, you. okay. <laughs> Hello. Right. right. So, so what we're going to do now, we're going to have a little bit of a push up mid, which means we're going to try and push this lane out. We haven't got a creep wave to support us, but if we as heroes destroy this creep wave, it, it leaves our creeps all the more room to get up. Right, okay. And then they've come to join the fight too. And I'm about to get a wound. I'm going to hit my ulti. Right, so... Okay. Okay, I get this. I, I'm not doing much help, but I, no, I get this. Good, I get this. I'm going to have to hang back because I've got literally no health. Uh, I've got no health to give you either. That's no, all right, uh, I'll just hang on. I'm oh, going to do, I'm going to... Did you see that little thing pop up there? Yes. Right, that's a ward. Yeah. And you should be able to see on the, the mini-map, the fog of war is now gone. Right, okay. Yes. Right, so they last for seven minutes. They're one of the most important things in a game you can give as a support. Right, because it gives you vision of where the what the opposite team is doing. Right. Okay. So I'm assuming that that the opposition would come in and try and clear these. They can't see them. Oh, can they not? No. Right. Okay. There's another thing if you look in the shop called sentry boards, and yeah. all all that they see is invisible stuff. Because that there, there is a mechanic in this game where cer certain heroes are invisible. Right. Or have the ability to go. As you do. Yeah. Yeah, right. Um, uh, all right, I'm about to get ruined. The enemy's middle tower has fallen. Your bottom okay. tower is under attack. Right, so we're all good here. Yeah. We're about to push down into their racks now. So you must have picked up some levels. Have you been leveling up? Yeah, I've got, I've got eight levels. I was about to say, I've got eight levels and I haven't really done anything with them. I'm assuming that... Normally, you'd be going through those and picking abilities. You use those immediately as soon as you get them. Right, okay. Um, but for now, I would just pull back from the battle. We're not going to do much anyway. Yeah. Uh, so I've just put like four whole points into um, whatever it was, corrosive skin. Um, and then I can do Viper Strike, so I'm going to put another... Ooh, no, gonna... Yeah, that's your ultimate. Now, Viper Strike poisons and slows the enemy unit. And it's very powerful. So right, you... I can't do that until I'm level 11 anyway. So I've got oh, no, a... you, you, you'll be doing that at level 6. Yeah, no, what I mean is, sorry, I mean, I was going to try and upgrade it, but I can't do that till level 11. Oh, yeah, yeah, for level 2, yeah. The enemy's middle barracks. So that's one other thing as well. You've got your four powers. They each have four levels to right. each power. So let's try and use Viper Strike then. Let's see what we can get. Uh, you need to have an enemy hero to use it. Right, so I can't use it on a tower. It has to actually be on a physical person. Yeah, yeah. It's got to be on a physical Right, so this There's is passive. So that's what that, that green thing that comes out. That I've got a green circle that comes out of me. Anything in that circle gets slowed. The enemy's and I deal poison damage. I think. Let's have a look. Talking about, are, you talking about, are you talking about your Viper Strike? Yes, Viper your, Strike, yes. Viper Strike, yeah. That's your ultimate, and that's a targeted power. Uh, so you target one unit. The green yeah. circle, when you hover over it, that's the range that you can cast it within. Right. So anyone that was within that green circle, you could yeah. hit them. Okay. So you can see we've taken down the middle barracks now okay so that's what okay that's those two there so if you hang back a little bit yep. and wait for the next creep wave 
you'll see that they're a lot bigger and meatier. Right, and why is that? Because we've taken down their barracks, so we now have super creeps. Oh, on that. we have super creeps. Okay, yeah, on oh, right. That oh, right, yeah, they are a lot bigger. I see them. So they're not little fellas anymore, they're sort of more what you would expect to be an orc. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, I just died. But Yeah, I just got caned as well. I just got caned. Okay. Okay, so. So we're pushing up to a lane, whichever lane you're on. You're getting to their base. Well, while we're waiting to respawn, can you see where I'm pinging here? Yes, mate. If you cl left click on the mini map there. Okay. You'll see that there's two big empty shells bottom where their barracks used to be. Yes, there are. And they're also around here. There's one empty shell here where their central tower used to be. Right, okay. So that's so, that's their defence. They've got three towers defending their main generator. What, it's, what, it's what would you call ancient. that? It's an ancient. An ancient. Okay. I call Dota it a power generator. It's defence of the ancient. Okay, right, so, that's the, the that's, so that is literally the thing you are defending. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, let me right. just pick up some items because I've got 5,000 gold I ain't spent, which is unheard of. Flash arrow. <laughs> right, so I've got, I've got like six grand's worth of gold. Yeah, so you, could, you could just buy it, but if you click open your... What is worth buying? The enemy's uh, for Viper, make sure you've got your basic items first. <laughs> but I think Manta style is usually an item that is... So I've got... Maybe uh, a heart. So early game, I've got like Magic Stick, Boots of Speed, Ring of Aquila. Yeah. Get all those, yeah? Uh, or would you pick one of those? If and you then... go one level lower, you should have an upgraded version of your boots. I think right. they're phase boots. Okay, so, yeah, uh, power treads. Oh, power oh, treads. We've just won. Oh, we've won the game. <laughs> nice. That's, uh, that's what you want. I didn't do anything, and we won. Brilliant. <laughs> this is what happens once you get the game of attrition. You can, if you get mega creeps, it's largely regarded that you've won the game because they have to expand, expend so much time and effort right. beating the mega creeps back from their base that quick, they can't really have a battle with you. Quick question. Mm -hmm. I now have what I would call in a first person shooter my kind of, you know, list of kills and deaths. Right? Yeah. Your kill death ratio, right? Kills, fight, I understand, like, is one. Death is four. A is eleven. What is A? Assists. Okay, right, okay, yeah, that so makes sense. So you took some part in killing a, a hero at some point in time. Right, okay. And Which, then... for a support player like me, mm. that's that's usually where I get my that's, that's big uplift. Your... Right, okay. So uh, my direct kills, because the, the whole point of me being a support is to let you get kills. Right. And you get the massive experience and gold bonus and then you buy your levels and then you you grow and get powerful for me it's just assist 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 and um, buy those support items that give you you know like when your health regen jumps yes. up to 5.2 if you get a few people around you that are all supports but of course it's all about team balance if they go five carries and and we go three carries and two supports you're pretty much guaranteed that uh, about 30 minutes into the game, all of their carries come online. Right, okay, so... And, and our two supports slowly start to drop off. Okay, so, so there's, a, there's, a, there's a shift in power. So Yeah, each hero, and there's 150 of them, so we'll, we'll get into the minutiae way, way down the line. Right, okay. But e each hero has like a almost like a graph that you can plot over... Most games run to 45 minutes, around about. I've right. had a game that lasts two and a half hours, I've had a game that lasts 15 minutes, but m your average game will last about 45 minutes. Right. And you can almost plot on a graph how powerful your hero is, and they call it coming online. Like when your hero sort of peaks and when you should really be going in for the kills and stuff. And you can plot it over a time chart that like, right, okay, right. for the first five minutes I'm crap. Just wait until seven minutes I should have this item. And then I come online and bang, bang, bang. Um, right. Okay. So I'm feeling pretty good that I kind of understand the basics. I understand I've got to get about the map. Now, am I right in thinking that Different lanes have different difficulties. 
Um, not so much different difficulties, different opportunities. So we haven't done... Maybe we need to do a whole episode on, like, map exploration. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, not not now. No. <laughs> <laughs> but there's a lot of different routes. There's something we didn't explore at all. So you saw creep waves moving up all three lanes. Yeah. There's also little creep camps in the jungle. Yes, yeah, so and I've heard of jungling. But mm -hmm. we won't go into that now. But So there's that... That's another element to... So there's that to explore. Right, okay. Um, but, um, but for now, like I say, I feel good that there, I know that there's three lanes, there's a base, I can go to and from the base, I can have a courier bring me my stuff, and that I can go to the shop, my, I can spend my levels, and I can go to the shop and buy new abilities. I'm kind of... That that makes sense to me. And there's like a few little, like, like you say, minutia bits of kind of how you attack and defend on the map i'm i'm feel i feel like it makes sense at the moment <laughs> i know that i'm going to drop Tentatively. off a cliff at, yeah i'm going to drop off a cliff at some point but i completely understand where we're going at the moment no you did fine there you did yeah fine. and and like to be fair i'm trying to control a character talk you through it and watch right. both now, army now, maps imagine where you are it's it's tough to do that from my side right so before we finish up this first episode then um the one thing i want to get my head around is characters now i'm sat here looking at a character screen with i mean it might as well be a thousand characters for all i care but they all obviously do their own things, they have their own strengths and weaknesses and stuff, right? How am I going to pick the kind of, I don't know, like you were saying to me earlier that you kind of end up, most players end up with about six characters that they rotate through and then they have like three, like three that are their sort of main, main guys. Yeah, if so, you're into wrestling, it would be called just stable or whatever. Yeah, you know? yeah, exactly. So, ha let, like, so, Thinking of it as, say, a fighting game, how do I pick my main? Like, what, how, you know, looking at what I do, is it, is it just down to personal preference? Like, I quite like, sort of, I'm, I'm quite tanky. When I'm playing games, I'm just, I run in headlong and kind of, you know, um, soak up a lot of damage. So, that's my kind of personality type for playing these types of games. So, what, where did, how does that does that help me pick a character or do I have to sort of succeed to the, the team I'm playing on? Uh, when, when you first start out, yeah, and when we go into our, and this is a few episodes down the line, but we'll start doing some limited hero matches. And there is a game mode in this specifically designed for new players, right? And I spent about 18 months in it. Right, okay. Because I, I didn't feel comfortable. It, it actually turned out when I went into the all pick mode, which is all characters. Yeah, all characters. I denied myself a lot of experience of playing against these other heroes. Right, I should okay. have just got out there a lot earlier. Right, okay. But for my, for, just for me, I was playing for shits and giggles. I wasn't playing for anything. Language. <laughs> but, um, you know, a lot of people play, I need to raise my MMR. I'm, I'm just happy playing for fun and playing with the people I meet. Yeah. Um, you will get a couple of heroes in limited heroes that you'll just find you you have some synergy with naturally. I tell you as, what, as a play style. Can you do a limited heroes bot match? Uh, you can't, no? but you can choose from the stable of limited heroes. Yeah, and can you show me the limit? That show me where that is, so that I can get an uh, idea. If you, if you so what I want to do is, by the end of this episode, pick a hero that I think is the one, or or get start getting an idea of what what i'm going to be start playing who i'm going to start playing as uh, unfortunately they don't have that oh. but we could go into a normal match and just play limited heroes against other humans no yeah. chance yeah. in <laughs> not a chance mate i i will be annihilated within <laughs> seconds all right so let's give up that idea and maybe explore that well, in the next remember, one i started there mate. that's how i played the game mate you have no idea how in intimidated I am right now, <laughs> let alone jumping in with like a bunch of randoms that are just going to annihilate me. Do you know the worst thing is as well, when you go into a rank match and you're getting absolutely hammered 
and this little voice comes over the party chat, and it's a 12-year-old boy in Wisconsin. Oh, give him me, give him me absolute <laughs> dog's abuse. Like, like, what are you what doing? What are you doing? Dude? Who are you? Why are you even on this? Why don't you just go and, like, you know, end it now? I, I'm not, yeah, I'm not even going there yet. I've got to steal myself for that. Well, just, we to give, it. just to give you a bit of history, right? The, the, how I got started on this game, right? I watched uh, that. There's an international. Um, it's called Ti the International. Yeah. See now, I've got like the watch tab here, and like you can see other people's games. Yeah, and and, yeah. and definitely go and watch some games because you'll learn a lot. But and in the international, only last year did they introduce a live stream called the Noob Channel. Because right. when I watched it now, three years yeah, ago. Cool. I was listening to commentators. Now that we've spoken before, you know me. Listeners won't. I'm, I'm not interested in sports very much at all, and I know nothing about football. And when watching this was like hearing someone talk about why some dude was offside and he right. was two yeah. feet now, this way and to be, to be honest, that. I did the same thing. I thought, right, this is a way I can get into it. They're, get into Dota, they've got a noobs channel I can watch on Twitch and it's going to basically do what we're doing now, go right from the basics, give me a really good grounding in what's going on. Within 30 seconds, I had no idea what was happening, I all I knew that was people were getting excited at things that made no sense to me, <laughs> they were talking in jargon, I had no idea what was going on and within, I, I did give it a good half an hour and I just thought, this isn't a noobs channel, this is a... You play, you've play. you played Dota for a year, and you're not very good at it, but you understand what's going on. This is not noobs, this is beyond noob. <laughs> yeah, good. Well, for me, imagine me three years ago when there was noob channel. No, exactly. There was no yeah. noob channel. Yeah. All, all I could hear coming out of this stream was, oh, he's going for the BKB, he might have a Radiance, yep. There yeah. goes the strike. He's going for top mid tier. Oh my god, the racks are down. The racks are down. You might <laughs> as well be talking Klingon to me, mate. <laughs> so yeah, it's uh, it's tough. It's tough to get into, but um, well, BKB is Black King Bar. Again, means Stop, nothing. Store that means one away. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> right. So should we call this a night, then? We shall indeed. Okay. Uh, uh, one more thing, I guess, before we we close out is like yeah. do you understand the concept of last hits happily yes. yep, and, I understand and that. denies as well yes i understand that from a tactical point of view of you're denying it, it's it's basically a kind of an economy thing I, I, exactly I guess. that is it exactly right? so that you're and you, you are tiers, trying you've got experience and gold so you're trying to in your lane you're trying to like uh, influence the economy on your lane which you just want as much for yourself and as least for them as possible. Yeah, and and I'm assuming that in in the best case scenario, everyone on your team is basically influencing the economy in such a way on their lane that you're in the the whole team is within a positive, and the other team is within a very slow net or even in a negative uh, economy. Correct. Right. Okay. And you, and you also, but you you can like some teams play uh, oh, football parlance again. But let's let's say a one one three, and they right. call that a tri lane. Yeah. And you'll go tri lane top or tri lane bottom. But what you're doing with that is very tactical. If your one person who's going solo is skilled enough to yeah. play against two other people, they get all the experience that was designated for two people. So they grow quicker and grow faster. They might not get as much gold, but some heroes are item dependent and some heroes are experience dependent. And you'll find this as you go through the game a little bit more as well. But there's some heroes you'll play who you don't need to buy a single item on other than boots to make right. them get a little bit of speed. Okay. Um, and they can just run the game, play in support, buying all the wards but still grow and grow and grow because you have uh, and I'll I'll pressure you to go and do a little bit of like research on this or listen to a there's a, po a podcast called We Like Dota right where a couple of guys very much like um Critical Hit the Dungeons and Dragons podcast two blokes took a guy who'd never played Dota before and brought him with them through yeah. the whole process um, and much like what you're doing with me <laughs> kind of yeah, yeah. <laughs> but you'd think after listening to that podcast for three years I might have a bit of knowledge <laughs> <laughs> doing this complete roundabout way but 
throw us all in at the deep end. Like they, I don't think they took that guy on a game for, or they just left him to do his own thing until about five or six months in. Like, right. Then you can come and play a game with us. Now they've got their own leagues and stuff. You know, when, when, Wednesday night is a friendly night and Friday night right. is try hard night. Fair enough. Right. So lo yeah, let's 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 call this a night because I've got a lot to think about. I think. <laughs> Go do that. Go get some homework. Read up on Viper. Will do. I'm, I've, I've got a funny feeling that I'm going to have, like, go through a dictionary of phrases, uh, you know, like a phrase book. Like, you, you know, when you go to France and you have to get your, you know, your, your book out and work out what the hell the lang language is all about. So there's, um, Yeah, there's yeah. one thing, because this threw me, and for people out there who might know Dota a bit more than me, when I first started and... One of the people I wanted to, to play was Drow Ranger. I really like Drow Ranger. Right. Now you know nothing about her, but one of her like when her ultimate power is not a power. It doesn't do any damage. It doesn't stun anyone. It literally just increases her uh, attack speed. So each time you increase her ultimate power, she suddenly starts firing arrows at an stupidly fast rate. Right. Okay. And then I got introduced to this concept of orb walking. That's orb, O-R-B, walking. Right. And I was like, okay, I'm going to go and research this. I watched several YouTube videos, read several wikis. Still couldn't figure it out. Six months later, I had someone sit down and explain it to me. So, <laughs> like the offside rule yeah. for me, go away. So that's your piece of homework for right, the next okay. Orb walking. Orb walking, right. <laughs> See if you can figure it out. <laughs> right, fair enough. Right, it's class out then for the night. <laughs> All right, have a good night, mate. Take have care. a good night, man. For the games. Thanks, uh, thanks for the uh, really help. Oh, and Cheers. you have to say GGWP, GG well played. GGWP, mate. Good game well played. Thank you. See you later.